one is a specific a disaster relief program for businesses that were impacted by the winter storms and that have experienced some damage uh, to their building as a result of flooding. So we'll go to the next slide. Just as a recap, uh, this is uh, brought to you by the Office of Small Business, a division of the Office of Economic and Workforce Development. And so uh, what you see on the slide here are some of the services that we provide in our office. And of course, we'll be here to support you through this grant program as well. Next slide. So an overview of what we're gonna go over today, we wanna to talk about the purpose and priorities in this flood relief disaster um, relief grant program. We're gonna talk about eligibility and the process, the timeline, other storm resources that are available, and of course, answer any questions that you still have remaining. <coughs> All right, so in terms of this particular grant program, I want to emphasize that we are prioritizing grants to businesses with significant damages located in parts of the city most prone to flooding, um, and that is according to the city's flood zone map, uh, which we will have a link to on the application information page. Businesses that aren't located in the flood zone can still apply, uh, but they may be receiving a lesser amount of grant funding. Next slide. And so who can apply? So the eligibility criteria, uh, you must be a business registered in San Francisco. You must have suffered significant physical damages from winter storm flooding to your business location. And the damages can date back to December 27th, 2022. And also damages from wind or power outages are not eligible. The other criteria, you must have a physical location in San Francisco and demonstrated damage to your business. Mobile businesses are not eligible. However, for home-based businesses, if you have valid permits or licenses to operate and are open to the public or customers, you're, you are eligible to apply. So for example, home-based daycare centers. However, home-based offices, for example, are not eligible. You can be a nonprofit organization if it generates revenue. You must have 5 million or less in gross revenue and an average of 100 or fewer employees, as that's how it's defined in San Francisco for the definition of small businesses. Next slide. And so in terms of the grant amounts, there will be two different levels. A $5,000 level is for those businesses located within the flood zone. And you can see in the shaded purple areas on the right side map, uh, which is available through the link that is on the slide, that those are the areas um, where businesses are located squarely within the flood zone. For those located outside of that zone, the grant amounts will be up to $2,000. And the grants are available on a first come, first serve basis based on fund availability. Next slide. So in terms of timeline, we are sharing with the public uh, this grant program starting today. Uh, and in fact, there should be a news release going out uh, during this meeting. The application period, however, is not open today. It'll open on Friday to give us enough time to do outreach to the community and share with everyone information about this grant program. The application period will be open for three weeks. So the deadline is Friday, February 10th at 5 p.m. And we will, uh, one way or the other, let uh, businesses know about the status of their application by Friday, February 17th. All right, next slide. And so a couple of questions that will probably come up. Um, so we wanna address those um, head on here. So if you're applying for this particular grant program, can you also apply for the regular disaster relief program that is typically available for businesses for example, that have been impacted by fires. Um, so no, that grant is not designed for this type of widespread impact. So if you're applying for the flood relief specific uh, program, you would need to apply through uh, this link that you see here. And can a business also apply for SF Shines? Um, yes, so long as you also meet the eligibility criteria for the SF Shines program. Uh, will there be translations available for this? Uh, yes. So at sf.gov slash flood relief, uh, we are preparing translations uh, for the application. So once the application is launched, it will be translated in our threshold languages um, as required in San Francisco. 
And if you have any other questions, well, we hope to address uh, most of them here today, but also Michelle here, who is going to be managing this grant program, you can also reach out to her at sfosb at sfgov.org. And of course, we want to make sure that you're aware of other resources that may be available to your business or even to the property, uh, because we certainly understand that this grant program is not going to cover everything and help you, know, you address the multitude of issues that you may have experienced as a result of flooding. So we want to make sure that you're aware of these resources available at this uh, link here that you see on the screen. Most notably, the top one, the SFPUC's Flood Water Management Grant. Um, that program, you can get reimbursed up to $100,000 for flood water mitigation um, infrastructure improvements that you make. And businesses that have 50 or fewer um, employees can apply for this. However, you have more than 50 uh, employees at your business, then the property owner um, can apply for this as well. So wanted to make sure you are aware of that. And at this winter storm resource page, you'll be able to find the links to all of these programs. Um, the second is that uh, we are aware that the Grants for the Arts is going to be coming out with a grant program, probably launching on Thursday, um, that is specific to arts-based nonprofits. So there'll be some more information publicly available on that program soon. And additionally, I want to point out that um, whether you're the property owner or perhaps um, you are the tenant but want, may want to make sure that your property owner is aware of this, that uh, through the assessor recorder's office, you can apply for property tax relief as a result of damages experienced through the winter storms. Um, on this web page, we also have some information about flood insurance options that are available to San Franciscans and also some guidance around mold mitigation or how to deal with the aftermath of flooding uh, from Department of Public Health and other agencies. And then of course, some safe disposal damage materials as well. All right, next slide. And so again, this is our office's contact information if you have any questions. So our email sfosb at sfgov.org or phone number 415. 554-6134 and the website link with all the information at sf.gov slash flood relief. We'll also put that in the chat in a moment. Um, Want to point out that we do have available on this website um, all the information that you need to prepare for an application, including all of the application questions. But just to remind everyone that applications are not yet live. They will be live starting on Friday. And so you have to apply online. There will be no paper applications accepted. 